Good afternoon. Today is Saturday, August the 11th, 2012, and it's currently around 1.10. And we're looking at uh, radar from uh, our software, the GR2, and currently you can see most of the band of showers and thunderstorms are associated with a frontal system that has pushed down from the north which is bringing us cooler and drier air here in Pearl River County and this is expected to continue through this weekend. Uh, the weather service is only giving us a, a 20 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon with a high of near 90 and the winds will be uh, west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So actually by looking at this radar our chances of rain uh, chances or pretty slim. As you can see, most of that uh, coming from the radar side out of Slidell is ground clutter and false uh, precipitation that's indicated there. So basically what we're expected today is continue sunny skies and temperatures uh, around the 90 degree mark. And uh, right now, currently in Picayune, it is 82 degrees, which we're not going to make the 90 degree mark because the temperature is, is uh, way below there. Tonight, expect partly cloudy skies with a low of 68 degrees. Winds will be from the west at around 5 to 10 miles per hour and calm later this evening. And on Sunday, sunny skies with a high of 94. Calm winds and it's going to be winds to be shifting around to the southwest at around 5 miles per hour. And then on Sunday night, mostly clear, low of 75. Monday, an increase of isolated showers and thunderstorms after 1 p.m., mostly sunny otherwise, highs around 93. Light south wind becoming southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour in the morning. And the chances of precipitation on Monday is only 20%. Monday night, expect lows around 76 degrees. So actually, tonight will be our coolest night. Just a touch of fall expected, um, just briefly, before the heat returns. We are looking at the tropics as well. Let's go to our tropical map here. And this is uh, Tropical Depression 7. It is located at 13.3 degrees north, 58.9 degrees west. Maximum sustained winds are 35 miles per hour. Minimal central pressure is 1,011 millibars. It's moving to the west at around 25 pretty rapidly. And it's expected to move into the Caribbean over the next 24 hours. And the long range forecast, as you can see by the global models, are bringing it pretty much um, the same as we had with our last system toward the Yucatan Peninsula and then into the Gulf of Campeche. So this looks like a storm that we will not have to worry about in the near future, but um, I'm just giving you an update on that particular. And also, we had some severe weather a couple of days ago that moved into Pearl River County and there were some damage around the Carrier area. And that was not uh, due to a tornadic sail because radar indicated no type of rotation at, during that time. So basically what we had damage was strong gusty downburst winds that we normally would have in a strong thunderstorm. So uh, wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour can do damage on that type of structure that was damaged that afternoon. That's the latest we have for you on our new Pearl River County weather segment. We'll be giving you updates, not every day, but every other day we'll give you an update on the weather here locally. But if conditions warrant, if we have severe weather that affects Pearl River County, we'll break in and give you an update along with our radar to give you an idea of what we've got going on. But right now there's no precipitation anywhere in southern Mississippi. So if you have any plans to go out and about this weekend, I would go ahead and go with those plans. It's going to be a beautiful evening. Thanks for joining us. Have a great afternoon and evening. Take care.